most people don't act on what they know. I promise you that. Most people don't do. I read a book titled The Knowing Doing Gap by two professors from Stanford University. The knowing, they, they found out, they checked hundreds of organizations and found out they hire consultants, pay a lot of money, consultants give them recommendations, they find, most don't act on the recommendation. It's remarkable. I'm talking about organizations now. And it is the same thing for individuals. Action, action orientation. See, eh? once you are someone who sets goals and who moves, you make that phone call, you go there, you start that business, you put in that application. Once you are an action-oriented person, you've caught 50% of the people behind you. Most people don't do. For various reasons. So I had to ask myself, why don't we act? Why don't we? I, I checked from a scriptural viewpoint. I said, the number one point I found, spiritual warfare. Once Satan knows you've taken delivery of the information that can change your life, he will fight you to not act on it because he knows the result of acting. He will fight you. Even Christ. Remember, when it was time for him to die, <laughs> why did he have to shout at Peter, his beloved disciple? Get thee behind me, Satan. He wasn't calling Peter Satan. But as he was telling his disciples, I'm going to go to the cross, they're going to arrest me, I'm going to die. The Bible says that Peter took him aside. It's in Matthew 16. Peter took him aside. The same Peter who earlier in that chapter, Christ asked, who do men say that I am? They say, they say you are Isaiah, you are Elijah. Say, okay, who do you say that I am? It was that Peter who, that spoke and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus said, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. Flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my father in heaven. The same Peter, later in the same chapter. <laughs> now, Oga said, I'm going to die. Out of concern. First, yes, should we say concern and love for the master? Ah, you cannot die. Ah, stop it, Jesus. You are the one that taught us positive confession. You taught us faith. <laughs> you cannot be confessing that you will die. You will not die in, in your name. You will not die. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, out of self-preservation. <laughs> self <laughs> if this man dies, there will be a problem. <laughs> the last time we were in a boat <laughs> and we were at the risk of drowning, it was the man that saved us. When his mother-in-law was sick and Jesus went to the house, he just touched the woman. The fever disappeared. He said, you are my insurance, my life insurance, <laughs> my health insurance, everything. You will not die. Oh. Why did Jesus react violently? Because even though Peter was doing it for whatever reason, Satan was the one actually taking advantage of his fears to speak to Jesus, to stop him from going to the cross. And if he did not go to the cross, the world was doomed. That's why Jesus reacted violently. Oh, God, you don't understand. Satan is now speaking through your mouth. I know you love me and you care for me, but right now, oh, now Satan, I'm hearing Satan. So get thee behind me, Satan. Some of us will have to do that this year. Be careful so that somebody will not slap you. So, because people have different temperaments, okay? <laughs> Do not say, I did not tell you. 